Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Tuesday, June the 2nd. Well, quite a different looking candle today for today's trading. If we look at the uh, colour of the candle, it's still green, which is uh, good. We like to see green candles if we're in a first time frame uptrend, which means that the uh, bulls have made net progress on the day. But the size of the body of the candle gives us a warning about this market. The size of the body has drastically reduced quite significantly. Also, if you look at the uh, the range, which is not something that we normally look at in um, candlestick charts, but back to our bar charting, that's the distance between the high and the low. The range has contracted very severely, which means that the side that were pushing the market up, the bulls, are making little net progress in a uh, first time frame trend situation. Now this type of candle is uh, one that we've seen before and we call this a spinning top and there is uh, potential for a reversal with this type of uh, candle but we need uh, confirmation of this. Now the spinning top denotes indecision with these shadows or wicks on the top and the bottom it means that there's been a battle between the bulls and the bears and the battle wasn't resolved. So previous day we had a very very bullish day, today indecisive day. The bulls have lost the power that they had for the day. That's not what you want to see in a first time frame uptrend, especially from a breakout from a uh, triangle pattern. Now, it's a little wonder that this has happened. If we look at this line, remember that we've noted this line as being an area of uh, resistance, and we've just poked up above there as we did on the previous candle. The market couldn't close up above there previously. This time we've closed up above there, which may have some significance, but unfortunately it's only just above there, so I'm not so sure how significant it is. I think more significance should be placed on the type of candle that we have, the uh, spinning top candle. Now we do still have a first time frame uptrend, which is the most important thing. We do have a higher high and a higher low. And what we should be looking for is a lower high and a lower low for some sort of retracement. So, it, so if you're long, you have to stay long with this market because the trend is still up. And if we do have a retracement, it's likely that we'll tra retrace back down to around the level of this pattern, and then we should look for some bullishness as we retrace back down to this level. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, looking at our Ichimoku indicators, the cloud twisted some time ago, so we have the positive bias. We're trading up above the cloud and we're trading up above the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen. The Tenkan Sen is above the Kijun Sen, which means that everything is bullish for this market. The Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen both are pointing up, which means that the market still has upside momentum. But if we look at the angle that the line is at at the moment, it means that the market doesn't have the momentum that it had previously. Comparing the angle for today's trading to the angle for the previous day's trading, means that the market doesn't have the momentum that it had yesterday. And it's little wonder that it should because yesterday was an extremely bullish uh, bullish day. So all is not lost for this market yet. What we want to see is the high of the current candle to be taken out. So roughly about 950, which is pretty much a, uh, a round number, an important number here on our way up to, uh, to 1,000 if we do trade up there. But watch today's low for some sort of a retracement back towards the congestion area. Thank mm -hmm. you.